This video might change your SEO game forever. Imagine you could create an army of AI agents to do all your SEO work for you. Well, you kind of already can. And the power of this is honestly quite scary. So let me show you. This is the website, agentgpt.reworked.ai. You can just get the URL over here. And from here, you can basically deploy AI agents to do loads of tasks. Now forget ChatGPT or OpenAI library. This is probably the craziest thing I've seen so far with AI and it's extremely powerful, not just for SEO, but for business tasks as well. So, so I saw it being posted on Dynamite Circles forum. If you're not in there, it's actually a great community of entrepreneurs. And I was like, all right, let's check this out. So took a look at what some people are doing and it's pretty insane. So for example, people have been using it to find specific gyms in Mexico City that have showers and it says they've actually contacted the gym, but we'll come on to that later. This is a really powerful tool for SEO. Now I'm gonna show you how to create a whole SEO strategy for your website for free. And this is something that would normally take 20 or 30 hours and probably cost you thousands of dollars online to do. And we're gonna do it today for free. It may be better than most SEO audits you pay for with actionable steps so you can get more traffic and grow your business for SEO. And with that, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you need to do is put in your key over here. I'm gonna do that right now, but I wanna show you my key because then you could use it. Once you've done that, you hit save, and then you're gonna name your SEO agent. So we'll put SEO GPT and we'll give it a goal. So let's say we wanna create a SEO audit. We'd say, right, give me an SEO audit, if I can type properly, for chipperbirds.com. We'll type it in and we'll deploy the agent and he's just gonna go off like 007 and do his own thing. He or she. So now we're waiting for that to be done. And here's the thing. What it does is you give it a goal like this, and then it starts thinking about it. And then you start getting tasks, right? So it basically breaks down the project in terms of everything it needs to do, like crawling cheaper birds to gather the data, analyzing the on-page factors, such as content quality and page speed, and researching and generating a list of relevant keywords that you could optimize for and grow your traffic. And then down this side, you will see all the tasks it's working on. So you can see all the ones we've already mentioned, generating a list of keywords, researching and generating lists, blah, blah, blah. And you can see that it basically does all of this on its own, right? So if you ask ChatGPT to create an SEO audit for you, here's how it play out. You say, give me an SEO audit for chipperbirds.com. So the response you actually get from ChatGPT is pretty average. As you can see, it just says it doesn't have access to the analytics. And then you get something that's very generic right? And you couldn't really take much action on that. It doesn't even tell you the steps to take. And it's kind of like a blog post. Whereas if you look at Agent GBT, it basically prompts itself to do all of the work for you. And then you can see here, we've got relevant keywords based on our website, which ChatGBT didn't give us. And as we scroll down, it's even given some recommendations. So it said to improve your SEO rankings, here's what you need to do. And then you've got the actionable steps you need to take. I'm gonna show you loads more SEO examples you could use Agent GPT for, but here's just a few. So it's recommending creating blog posts, or articles on bird identification, bird watching tips, bird feeders, doing more link building, creating more social media. And you've basically got a full SEO strategy right off the bat in the space of a couple of minutes. Now, once it's completed that task, then you can give it other tasks. Like for example, give me a list of my top SEO competitors from my website. You deploy the agent, and now you're gonna get a nice list of competitors that you're trying to outcompete on Google. And you don't have to do any of the research yourself, so it's gonna break down the tasks, start thinking about them, and there we go. And in the space of a few seconds, you've already got a list of your top competitors that I know I'm already competing with. So even if you gave ChatGPT this one list, it's probably not gonna do it for you, right? If we say, do this for me, you don't get a relevant answer. It doesn't give you the information you're looking for. Even if we use ChatGPT4 and we paste in the message, you're still gonna get a sorry message that says, I basically can't do this for you. It's sassing you, right? Whereas if you go to Agent GPT, you've got tons of competitors right down the list. And this is the power of this tool. As you can see, it keeps going, it keeps prompting itself and then coming back with more answers and more tasks to do as well. I mean, even this alone, if you were creating a project, you could use this as like a 90 day plan of all the things you need to do for SEO. 
An auto agent basically gives you a roadmap of all the steps you need to take to complete that project. It will just keep going, prompting itself for the next steps. Whereas with ChatGPT, you only get one answer, it's a quick response, very generic, and it doesn't do much else. So this is a much more powerful tool for SEO. And auto agents is basically 10 times more productive and proactive because it doesn't stop until the problem is solved. As you can see, we've got a nice amount of competitors here, here, and we're good to go. Now on our third task, we're gonna try running a technical SEO site. Now it's gonna embark on a new adventure for us. And here we go, it's crawling and analyzing the site. And then it gives you some ideas of broken links, that sort of thing. Now, another big difference is that if you put my website is chipperbirds.com or whatever your website is, and then give me a list of commercial keywords, again, you're not really gonna get a great answer. Whereas if you pay site into agent GPT like this, you hit deploy agent, what it's gonna do is take that goal, start thinking about it and plan out how to get relevant websites that are commercially viable for your website. And as we scroll down and check the results, you can see that it's already executed the first task with scraping relevant websites and you can see the response already. So it's got ideas like bird cages, bird food, bird toys, and these are all potential money pages that we could publish on our website to start ranking, to start generating more income from the website. As we scroll down, we've got more ideas here. It's just gonna keep going. And then it's gonna start pumping out more high search volume and competitiveness for cheaperbirds.com. Now, one extremely important thing to note is that this is not connected to the internet. So probably the data that it's using, for example, using Google Ads Keyword Planner to identify search volume and competitiveness of keywords is actually based on old data. It must be on old data. Because even though you can connect auto agents to the internet with GPT-4, this particular tool doesn't connect to the internet. And I haven't seen any that are, unless you use Python and have access to GPT-4. So even though it says, right, I'm using Google Apps Keyword Planner, I actually asked in the Discord for this tool, whether this tool is connected to the internet. The ETA is one to two weeks. Now, if this connects to the internet within one to two weeks, it's gonna be insane. Because you imagine all the work that you normally give to a personal assistant or to a team, this tool could actually do a lot of that for you. Now, is it gonna be like the perfect human that does creative work and thinks for you originally? No, but it's gonna be more like an assistant that helps you and saves you a lot of time if you know how to use it in the right way. Now, you might also be thinking, how much does this cost? Because if it's using the GPT API, then there's a cost to it, right? Well, the actual tool is free. If you're connecting your API, then it will cost you a bit, but it's gonna be pennies compared to hiring someone. So if you compare the usage here, and you see how much we've used today, well, it's $0.04, right? So four cents. And that is extremely cheap because how much would you pay per hour for an assistant or an SEO to do this work for you? Probably a lot more. Now, I think the beauty of this is that you don't need to stop hiring people, but now you have 10 times more leverage with your team. So if you have a team of SEOs, virtual assistants to do work for you, well, they can achieve 10 to 100 times more than they previously could do with tools like this. And that's the crazy thing. If you have a portfolio of websites or you need to do a lot of SEO work for your agency, all of a sudden you can scale like crazy and you've got five people working like the 500 people. So are there any limitations to this tool? Well, first of all, obviously it's not connected to the internet. And you know, if you try and use it for manual link building, it's not really gonna work properly or it's not gonna post blogs directly to your website or scrape content for you properly until it's connected to the internet. Now, sometimes it can go and get confused and go into some crazy loop. So you can see like here, it says it's been running too long. And then just to save you money, it's gonna show itself. Also, with the amount of information you get in the log, you have to organize that. And you can see you get some answers here and there, but you're gonna to have to kind of copy and paste that and organize it into a nice document yourself. If you actually ask it to organize the responses you've done today, I don't think it's gonna put it in a text document for you. Let's see what it does. Yeah, see, so when you've asked it to organize all of this information into a nice document, it's not gonna do it for you. So you need to go up through the log yourself manually and then just organize it all yourself. Let's stop the agent there. And here's the other thing. You're gonna get a bit misled. For example, if you say, right, go out and do some link building outreach from my website, chipperbirds.com, we deploy the agent. It's probably gonna tell you that it's doing link building for you, but it's not connected to the internet. So it's not, right? It will add all these tasks. So you can see it's saying, right, I've sent out some outreach emails to potential link partners to follow up. 
but actually it's not. It's not contacting anyone. So that's a bit misleading. The potential of this is crazy though, because previously with SEO, everyone knew what to do, but a lot of website owners don't do that. And ideas about execution, is just hallucination. Whereas with this, you can get all the execution automated for you. So that's not really the problem anymore. The problem is how can you create a different and unique SEO strategy that your competitors aren't doing? How can you get someone else to do the link building for you? How can you build better quality backlinks? How can you create content? So overall, is it powerful? 100%. But is it perfect? No. It's more like an assistant that you can guide and aim in the right direction by giving them a goal. And as the old AI cliche goes, this is the worst it will ever be. And this is basically just a personal assistant that requires very little guidance and prompting. And I think one of the best use cases for this is that you can enhance the ideas you come up with. So to get a lot of good ideas, you need bad ones as well. So if you ask it, right, come up with a thousand ways to improve my strategy for a bird's website, then it'll come up with tons of SEO ideas and then you can just take and filter the best ones and add them to your website. And the AI can basically generate more diverse and creative ideas for content topics or SEO strategies by prompting itself with different goals or perspectives. And then this could help you in identifying unique angles or niches to target with your keyword and SEO strategy. And also you're gonna save time because you don't need to keep prompting it, it'll prompt itself and figure out the next step. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you want more videos like this. And I do have a free ChatGPT SEO course. You can see we've got tons of videos down here. If you wanna get access to that, make sure you check the link in the comments. You'll see how I've tripled my traffic in one month. 